I'm looking over at it. I don't see it. I see Discord. I see Stream Tip and Muxy. Where's YouTube? How do I connect Nightbot to YouTube? Excuse me, Nightbot. Do you even work? So I got a notification from YouTube. This is my first time coming back to stream on YouTube in a while. I'm using Restream, so I'm streaming on both platforms, Twitch and YouTube. But right now, YouTube just told me... <laughs> it told me that my, uh, my video quality was bad. It told me that I needed to set a, um, a keyframe interval of two. And um, so I went and I had to stop the stream and I had to set OBS to stream at uh, a keyframe interval of two. Did that. Now it says it's live and the stream health is good. It's green. Okay, so obviously doing that has improved the quality on both YouTube and Twitch. And so the complaints about buffering should be getting much, much better. I had no idea that you needed a keyframe interval of two. Apparently, two is enough. So that's, that's that done. I'm going to keep that open. I'm going to pause my previews so it's not lagging my computer. Paused both. Everything's paused. How's everybody doing? Is anybody here yet? Anybody here for the Extra Life stream? Figured I would start with Kerbal Space Program. And stream for an hour before uh, I get started with Wanderbot and the Catterday crew. We're all going to get together in about an hour. So time is of the essence. We're on the clock. Let's do something cool. Uh, Beard Unlimited. Let's load. Here we go. I do hope. I do hope people can join us for this. Um, just get the, get the crowd warmed up. It's the first time uh, streaming on YouTube in a while. I, I'm hoping that uh, some people show up today. Um, I know they're not used to seeing me there. Okay, so first of all, we need to recover some vessels. I mean, I could fly this one more time. <laughs> I think I'm just going to recover it. We've got a bunch of debris over here. Um, here's a skip leg day. We're going to recover that. Um, if you skip leg day, you're always emphasizing recovery. And... Um, Hardly any of <laughs> work. Um, oh my goodness, that was a lot of debris over there. Uh, so, here's the deal. A lot of mods are broken in this version. So if I were to go to the tracking station and uh, come out here and try to fly any of this stuff that I have in orbit, it would probably break. And I, d I don't want that stuff to break. So basically, if I don't try to load it up, if I don't try to fly near it, um, it will just continue there as a persistent file. It will not break. And basically, when I do finally fix the mods, um, then we can go out and, and use all that stuff again. Yay! We'll do that. Um, so I'm going to leave this facility. We're basically going to keep testing stuff. We're going to test stuff. Um, got into some submersibles, uh, which I think is interesting. I think... Um, I think I want to try out some submersing. So, you know what I want to do, actually? I want to open up this and let's... I don't remember the last version of that large... What did I even call it? I called it... Uh, let's see. It was it was a big, the big space plane that had the dark drive on it. I don't remember which one it was. Hmm... Let's see, it wasn't this. It wasn't that. Uh, I had the BAT-100 and then I called it something else. Well, let's go through the list and take a look. This is BAT-100. Here's this stuff. There's there's the Duna Light. There's the Duck Raptor. Very cool. Very effective. Um, space plane. Medium size. Oh, and here it is. The Killer Blackbird. I remember this. And I had, I had one for probe launching. This one would break. For instance, if I tried to use it, because actually, let's try it. Let's try. It. Let's let's take a look. We've got uh, parts with crew capacity and the available crew. We've got two available crew. They're gonna go in there and launch the vessel. Let's see what happens if tweak scale is broken and I launch this craft. What happens? Uh, I'm willing to bet some explosions are gonna happen. Uh, do we have any other bets? Anyone else betting? No. Okay. So. Basically, 
the part sizes went back to their normal size. Um, and yet, as you can see here, the engine, which is which was small, this all of this was small. It's now not small. It's back to normal size, and the engine is embedded somewhere in the middle of this stack. It's, it's in here. Oh, and you can sort of, kind of see it. I think. Yes, you can see it. It's there. It's embedded right there. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. But uh, let's find out, shall we? Okay, launching everything, lighting everything on fire, and launching the other. Oh, it is it working? If I hit the button, what's gonna happen? Is it gonna? It's gonna crash everything. <laughs> so this would be the reason why we're not going out there into space and interacting with everything else that's already pre-built. So instead, we're going to revert to launch and recover this thing and then launch a normal uh, Blackbird. And uh, I want to basically see, can the Blackbird go underwater? Can it, can it submerse? Because if it can, I'll probably remove all of the wings and continue with a submersible of that design. I think it's a good idea. So let's uh, recover this vessel. We're going to try to fly this into the water. Well, not fly it into the water. That would be going too fast. And then, of course, it's going to disappear. But if we're going to sort of drive it into the water slowly and kind of put a lot of downward force and use RCS and all of that. This has tons of RCS. If it works in space, it ought to work underwater. And that's why... That's why NASA does all of those uh, tests underwater. Okay, so this is the uh, newer version of it. I've, it's got... I don't quite like how this is placed. This doesn't look all that good. I think I would probably lower it some more. Lower that some more at, at the very least. But uh, it's, it's now got some yaw, which it desperately needed. It needed some yaw. Um, it's fishtailing quite a bit. Let's, let's, um, kill the, kill the engines. Do not fish. Why are you fit? Don't fit. Why were you fishtailing? <laughs> I'm a terrible pilot. Anyway, this part of the craft is actually very well balanced. Um, it just doesn't have any yaw, so I can't turn towards, I can't turn towards the ocean. <laughs> let's, uh, do that again. Just pretend that never happened. Revert flight to launch one minute ago. Okay. I think if I turn the thrust down a little bit, it ought to go a little bit more straight. Um, that's my... That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. 46 meters a second. Looks good to me. I can toggle the brakes here. But not, not too early. Just a little bit. Slow us down. Just a little bit. Actually, I could just hit the B button and pump the brakes. Okay, let's let's stop as m let's fully let's come to a complete stop. Could you? Okay, don't don't hit the water fast. Don't hit the water. Oh, hey, perfect. We are in the water, and nothing has broken. All right, that looks good to me. Look at that. This thing was practically made to do this. Okay. I'm going to quickly do a quick, cannot quick save while moving. Um, would you come to a complete stop, please? Would ya? Could ya, please? Uh, RCS. R RCS, is that... What's happening? What's happening? I want you to stop. Stop, please. Come on. There we go. Is that working? I think that's, just, I think that's working. Okay, that's working. Five, four, three, two, one, and F5. Quick saving, right here on the water. Excellent. All right. So now let's see. I I wanna I wanna do a speed test. Uh, if I if I have RCS, if I have stability, if I crank this up, if I start the the big engine. Ha <laughs> Would you look at that? All right. If I point down, will it, 
Will the engines keep going when they're out of uh, air? Will they work underwater? I don't think they've done anything to stop it from. We're getting up to speed. Okay, we've got 40 meters a second. Go down. Do it. Oh, it won't. Oh, shoot. Oh, don't smack too hard. Oh, this could be dangerous. Let's just do a surface speed record first. How about that? We're going pretty... <laughs> Look at that wake. That's crazy. Waking it up. Wake up. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Look, look at this. This is the world's most expensive boat. <laughs> world's most expensive speedboat right here. Okay. And that's what happens when I point down. It just... It just doesn't. It just doesn't do that. Can I take off? Let's try to take off and then, uh... Get back... <laughs> get back uh, to the runway, <laughs> fly back to the runway, land. All right, we're going 40, trying to take off now. Uh, skimming the water, skimming the water, okay, 50, we're going, we're getting faster. We're getting faster. I think we've lost the first air intakes up here on the front. Did that, did that happen? Oh, I think it did. I, th I think they just splashed. I mean, we can go 60, but we don't have enough to get out of the water. Can I roll out? No, that just turns. That just, that just turns. Did we lose anything else? No. So let's go back to the shore. Hit the shore and get out. This is not a good submersible. It is a good, um... It is a good boat, though. <laughs> I was not expecting that. This has very well. It's 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 just a, it's giving us thrust. Not a whole lot, but it's giving us some thrust. Never thought I'd be doing this. To <laughs> I mean, you know, your normal episodes of Kerbal Space Program very rarely include something like this and yet I'm okay with it <laughs> we'll just we'll just play the game and have fun whatever happens is gonna happen no need to hide this from the world it is special technology you must hide it from the world the world is not ready <laughs> for technology such as this only Beard Unlimited would come up with something like this. <laughs> of that, you can be sure. Okay, come on. To the beach. Get us to the beach. Get us there. Get us to the beach. The beach is there. Just get us there. Come on, get us to the beach. Get us to the beach. Right there. Oh, come on now. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. Toggle the brakes, toggle the brakes, toggle the brakes, to I mean, uh, the, the gear, gear, gear. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Saw that one coming. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Hey, we're alive. Hey, we're alive. At least we're alive. Let's do F9. That would be cool. That would be really very, very, very cool. Oh, 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 oh. And <laughs> look at that wobble. Uh, nothing's broken, so I've just got to say, oh my goodness, don't break.